Okay, this is 1.6, and we're going to do some more on systems. Before we do more, I'm just going to do an example and solve the system the two different ways that we know how to already. Okay, so this problem's a little different than the last problem we did. Looks like it's ax equals 4x. And so our first option of solving is getting zero on one side, so subtracting 4x on both sides. And then we can see we have an x in common. So we can't factor it out on the left. Remember, it's a matrix. So if it's on the right, we have to factor it out on the right. So we go a minus 4 but four is a constant, so what we're gonna do is times that by i, matrix i, and then we can distribute that in there. That i will be the three by three, because this is a three by three. So if you wanna write that, we can, but it's not necessary, i three. Okay, so continuing with this, we wanna find, so that we can solve it, ax equals zero. Now we can subtract item by item. So the only thing we need to subtract are these diagonals. Everything else will be one minus zero, two minus zero, and so forth. So it's two minus four. So now we have, so now we have, so we can augment it and solve it. But before we solve it, I said there's, this was our option one. Um, our option two ends up in the same spot as this augmented matrix, but the get there is a little bit different. So let's do that next. So we were asked to solve ax equals 4x. So what we're going to do is we're just going to write that out. So ax will be the equation. So we can just multiply those out for ax. And we'll do equals 4x. So this is ax, and this is 4x on this side. So we want to take each of these equations and get 0 on the right. So all I do here is I subtract 4x on both sides. So I'm only combining 2x minus 4x. Here I'm subtracting 4y on both sides. Get 0 there. 4x minus 4x is 0. That's why we're doing this. And on this one, we're subtracting 4z. You see here, when we subtracted 4x to this side, 
We subtracted it from this one, and this from the y, and this from the z. We only subtracted four from the diagonal, just like we did up here, diagonal. Everything else stayed the same. And so now we can write this as an augmented matrix, or a being these coefficients, new a basically. And this new augmented matrix should be the same as the one we found before. And it is. So now we can finish solving this. Again, you can do it either way. Um, obviously, I think the first way was easier, but this explains it. So I want a one here. So let's go ahead and add these two. I think at the same time, okay, this is all twos. You can divide it. And we'll leave that last row alone. When you have this situation, I mean, we can take our time, but this last row is going to zero out. I'm going to do this this time, but after this, hopefully you'll see this row will zero out because we can divide this by negative 3, and this will be a 1. So there's another way we can do it. Just make them both ones. Now you can see the multiples of each other. I want to get 0 here. We want to zero both of these out. Now we're ready to write out our, our equations. We can see since we have a row of zero, we're going to have infinite number of solutions. We'll have a par parameter. So this is this times my x, y, z. Because of this, let z equal to be my parameter. This is my solution. Let's do one more. So before we solve this matrix equation, and we haven't seen one like this, this isn't ax equals b where b is a column vector. But first I want to know, well, let's write these out. These must be the same, so that has to be a 3. And then once these are the same, it has to be the same. So it's a 3 by 2. Okay, so we can't row reduce it. It won't be very meaningful. So how about, hopefully this is invertible. And then this is... So we have our one here, so we can zero these out pretty easily. Zero them out at the same time. So what we had up here was ax equals b. b is just not a column vector, that's fine. It's still a matrix. And so also, there's x, because it's invertible. So let's solve it. So we're over here for that one. It's a pretty easy one. Four in the middle. And you can check that. And that's our solution. Thanks for watching.